today is August the 19th and this past Thursday Zach went in for another round of chemotherapy um, it was the hour and a half long infusion and thankfully it was uneventful it was just a long day at the hospital with uh, clinic labs and then going in for the infusion uh, we also found out on Thursday that our insurance went ahead and covered um, the GCSF injections that we need to give the Zach, which are the injections that need, are needed in order for him to boost his stem cell production. So what that means really is um, they're talking about this coming Wednesday, uh, doing the stem cell uh, harvesting. And in order for him to do that, he needs to have a really high concentration of stem cells in his bloodstream. In order for that to happen, you have to give him uh, injections of a, of a drug um, since he is pretty big. Um, most of the time the drugs that they get administered are for tiny children like toddlers and to adolescents. So since he's an adult, um, he has to get bigger doses. So he's got to get a, a one and a half mil injection in each arm um, subcutaneously. And that's supposed to help with the production of stem cells. Um, since our insurance was able to approve that, we didn't have to go up to the hospital every day, um, like I had said originally. So the only time we have to go to the hospital now is on Monday and Tuesday um, for them to check his stem cell counts. So if everything looks good, Wednesday is going to be the stem cell harvesting day. So we're hoping that does happen. The only drawback to the stem cell harvest is since he doesn't have the central line, like I mentioned earlier, um, they're going to have to do an IV in each arm. Uh, one's going to be outbound, one's going to be inbound, and he has to sit still for however long the procedure is. It could be anywhere from three hours to up to as much as six hours. And let's say they want to get a collection of 10 million stem cells. And on Wednesday, they go ahead and do the harvest, and they don't get that number. They're going to have to do it again on Thursday. And then if they don't get it Thursday, they'll have to do it Friday. So there's a five-day window from when the first collection is taken to when they can hit the number that they want to achieve. If they don't hit that number, sadly, that first batch has to be discarded and they have to start all over again. So we're hoping that everything goes well on Wednesday and they get the, the amount that they want. If not, hopefully they'll get it on Thursday at the absolute latest. Zach was told that you know, the, the, the longer he sits still, the better the collection is going to be. So hopefully that goes without a hitch as well. Um, this coming week, my teammates are, some of my teammates, including my coach James, are going down to Las Vegas to participate in the Master Senior World Jiu-Jitsu Tournament. Um, good luck to them. Um, James has already gotten the information out in regards to the Super Seminar for Zachary and raising money for his cancer treatments. Um, it's make a donation to GoFundMe. Once you get that, um, confirmation that you made your donation of $100 or more, send your receipt to James and you can get into the super seminar. If you're in the Seattle area, I encourage you to go, uh, not because it's a benefit for my son, Zach, but Jiva Santana is gonna be here. James will be doing some instruction. And J uh, James is also bringing up his good friend, Bryant, who leads um, Saber Jiu Jitsu down in the San Francisco Bay Area. Bryant is a multi-time world champion in Nogi Jiu Jitsu, and he's got some really awesome techniques. Jiva Santana is also known as the arm collector world champion, uh, just many accolades. The guy, and he's also an awesome human being. They're all awesome human beings for wanting to make sure that my son's taken care of. So um, then the that's gonna be on September 15th. September 14th is Fight to Win. Again, um, my teammates and my coach are all gonna donate their proceeds and their fight purse to Zach's cancer treatment as well. So um, one of the things that a friend of mine asked me on Facebook was how I'm able to keep it together during these videos and I'm not gonna lie it's not easy there are times where when I'm alone that's when things start to hit um, become emotional um, I try not to do it on camera because I got to put on a good game face because I got to make sure that Zach sees that we're all positive and positive reinforcement will definitely help him out in getting through um, his chemotherapy and his cancer treatment. Um, with that being said, some of the things I've done also is to also surround myself with some really good positive people. I've decided to let go of anybody that I think is a detriment to my well-being or not really necessarily detriment, but just negative people in general. Um, there are a lot of people who understand and have been really good about supporting me and my family and understanding that my schedule is not that flexible as it used to be. 
Sadly, there are those who get upset when I don't make time for them any longer, so I've decided to cut them out of my life. And I don't understand why people don't get that family comes first. And it just boggles my mind. I don't understand it, and I, it doesn't really matter anymore because they're no longer a part of my circle in, anymore. Um, you know, work is still being really good about flex, flexibility of my schedule as long, as long as I keep my projects up to date. Um, I've been working a lot of late hours to make up for the time I'm not in the office, so I'm, I've been pretty tired this week. Um, luckily, I've been able to make it to jiu-jitsu, which helps out quite a bit. Um, been able to shoot a couple of concerts to keep my mind off of things. Luckily, Zach's been doing really, really good. Matter of fact, um, speaking of doing well, um, he's looking better. He's feeling better. He had a little episode this week where he wasn't feeling... He, he got a little nauseous on Saturday, which was yesterday. And so we had to give him some, uh, some like, 7-Up and some saltines to calm his stomach down. Um, his, his eyes look really good. The blood is clearing up, even so much so when the oncologist saw him on Thursday. She was like, oh, my God, your eyes look so much better. <laughs> and it was pretty funny to, with her reaction and everything. So September 12th is when we go up to Seattle Cancer Care Alliance, and we meet with Zach's doctor who's going to perform the bone marrow transplant. And at that time, we're going to get accommodations to stay up there for his recovery, as well as that time period we have to stay within a 30-minute radius of SCCA. Um, got all the information from my insurance that they want, and hopefully things will go without a hitch. So the grand scheme of things, everything's looking better. Um, inch by inch, day by day. Um, nothing has regressed. We've got a little bit of progression. But in all, everything looks really, really, really good. So, um, again, thanks to everybody who's contributed to his, Zachary's GoFundMe account. Thanks to everybody who keeps continuing to check in on us to see how well we're doing. Um, the best thing for you guys to do is to, if you aren't already, subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button when I put up new videos and hit the notification bell. So that way, um, when I post new videos, you guys will get an alert and a notification as to when videos are up and ready for you guys to watch. I'm gonna go ahead and post the GoFundMe link again in, this, in the description below. And if you're interested in participating in Zach's Super Seminar, um, I'll put the link to um, the information on the Facebook page where you can get additional information on how you can get registered, which you already know is just through GoFundMe, and how to get that information to my coach James in order for you to attend the seminar. So. Thanks again. Um, I'm going to try and, uh, like I said, keep up on the videos, but let, you know things have been so crazy I haven't been able to keep those up, up to date as I've wanted to. So hopefully I'll be able to turn that around and get videos posted more often. So again, thanks a lot and we'll talk to you soon.